Hello everyone and welcome to Apescape, I'm Nordograph. When we last left off, we we're just about to start a new world, but we're back here at the tutorial level because I want to show you guys that now, if you so desire, you can go back to some of the tutorials we already unlocked. Also, you can use this for more than just training your with your gadgets, you can train climbing on poles. Also, this water, man. Most serene thing ever. Just look at it. Just stand here. For days. But one way or the other, let's start off the level. When we last left off, we had just uh, had done the stadium attack. Which is a time trial of sorts, and now we are in Krabby Beach. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! This is the Super Hoop. It protects you and makes you run faster. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Now, I, I, I just want to point out that from this point forward, the gadgets will get pretty silly. I mean, a, ra a water net, okay, a raider, okay, but like the slingshot, it's kind of, you know, a necessary thing, you know? And then they give you the super hoop, which is basically just, you know, a hula hoop that makes you run really fast. This is the tool I said you can use to get fast monkeys. Since if you touch a monkey when you're spinning the hoop like this, which you use by just circling the analog stick. In this next period, you'll find that most of the planet is covered with water. The water net will be very useful in catching the apes. There are lots of dangerous creatures below the surface. Be careful. You knock down the monkey when you hit him with the hula hoop. And the next w one that we open up is not that much better. As you can see, now we have to grab five monkeys. And to be honest, even though you unlock the hula hoop in this level, you don't really need it that much. It's not really necessary to grab. The hula hoop is not really that useful to grabbing the monkeys, it's mostly to solve puzzles. So, if we are very careful here, we can grab that monkey by surprise. Yeah, you're done, son. The, can I just point out how it gets quieter when you're sneaking? The music. And then it gets louder when you get up. It's pretty silly. Is there anything else? Well, when I look at the ocean, the frame drop, the frame rate drops pretty bad. Should make it easy to catch the monkeys at least. If we spin or stand baton at this castles, you can destroy them. Although I don't think there's any point to this, except ruining a, a monkey's work. But these guys are, are pretty very, very docile, so we don't have any problems with them, as you remember, I mentioned the light blue ones don't really attack you all that much. The crabs just make you trip. They don't actually hurt you or anything. We're gonna grab that monkey just in a bit, just wanna see, because I don't wanna actually... Yeah, there's nothing in these things. You, stop relaxing. He <laughs> jumped at me. It's pretty crazy. Now, we just gotta go... The worst thing is that a lot of other levels will... In this world, this series of three worlds will have ocean. So the frame, every time I look outside... Well, it's not that bad now, it's just that thing. There's a monkey up there, but we can't grab him right now. We can, however... Go down here, is that anything new? Nope, nope. If we fail, there, we get dropped here. And there's nothing here. So, 
just to point out that if you fall down, you can get back up there. Let's press select, grab some, grab the hula hoop, which will help us immensely. Here. Whoa, 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 that was close. That was very close. Now there's a monkey up there, but we can't drop him right now. There are a couple of monkeys over there, but there's nothing I can do about them. So, what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna go up here. Woo! Now, as you can see here, we can't do anything about that either. As I said, there will be an another weapon we'll be grabbing. Stop, stop spinning. God, it makes hard to jump on that platform when we're spinning, you know? Just as it should, let's not continue just yet. Ow. Because we had to grab that Spectre Coin, which should be our 10th. 10th uh, Spectre Coin, which opens up a bonus level. A minigame, I mean. Now, this part, we just gotta be careful. We gotta get used to switching quickly. And get used to this controls because with the hula hoop controls because you're gonna be using them to solve uh, some time sensitive puzzles on the future. And well, I can skip this since it's just a summary of the level, and I wanna show you guys here in the minigame room since we open our first first just look at this look at this reflection this is a ps1 game man this reflection is beautiful this is sky kids racing it's basically a jet ski mini game where there are three tracks and it's just a mini game you can play two player if you want to so but uh, I will, i'll be covering them later Probably in a bonus video since it's not required to you know finish the game playing the mini games. And we start Coral Cave. How many monkeys we need? We need five. Should be easy enough. And there's a monkey in a shark. Only in Apescape you find a monkey in a shark. Now you see that monkey over there. As much as I would love to do this and drop him on the water we can't but the monkey and the shark is not that frightening well it kinda is because the shark attacks you but honestly the water net is probably the most useful item because of the wide range it you get when you use it you get a really wide range and get really easy capture the monkey. We are dropping this because this lowers that bridge. Now we need to be quick because that bridge will come up. As you can see. And if you're not quick enough, uh, come on monkey. Sometimes it gets hard, you know, to grab the monkeys when they're running. Anyway. We got another monkey on the water here, easy enough. And if we go under that cave, we get to an area which has a monkey, but we can grab the monkey right now, so we shall ignore it and come here. Now, we can't get up top there yet. As I said, there is still another gadget that is as silly as the hula hoop. That we need to catch. We gotta be careful here to not get hit by this guys. And I I do exactly that. I get hit. Well, I never got hit there. I guess since I'm recording, I gotta get hit. You know, it's it's just a just a thing. So let's be quick and. That was very pro move, man. That was amazing. Ow, I'm gonna end up dying if I'm not careful. 
Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. I just want to have a little bit more life. I don't want to walk around with only one cookie. Let's be very careful. It gets kind of hard to aim because honestly the 8 direction no aim that the analog stick has is not the best. So we gotta be real careful. You gotta prepare. And right here we got a monkey and a submarine. Which is, you know, crazy when you think about it. It's a monkey. In a turret gun, in a submarine. Only in Apescape, you get this crazy, crazy things happen. Now, how do I get back up there? I just wanted this spectre coin. Something. Let's. Let's. Okay, there. Now, if we are just careful, and if we hold. They are one button, we can just, you know, continue. Fourth. No. I'm gonna have to kill these guys. These guys are probably my most annoying enemy because they're just there. They don't pose much of a threat, they're just an annoyance. Because, you know, it's not like it's hard avoiding them. And we're gonna catch this monkey and it shall be... Maybe our last. There, the last one. We'll be catching the submarine monkey another day. And it's not that hard. You'll see when we do it. Okay. Back here. I really wish they really just throwed us back at the start of the level because uh, at the level select screen instead of here. But uh, next up, it's Dexter Island. It's kind of a longish level. And it's probably the level that you can get lost on pretty easily. The first level where you can get lost on. And it's probably the level that you might have the most problems when you're trying to get everything in the level. Like the first level where you actually run into that problem. Because the other ones are pretty easy. Now that you can see the monkey there, but we can't really get to him. But! But! We can see some UFOs there, but if we come here and break down this door, easy enough, we capture a monkey that's just daydreaming here. And we hit that button, we release the turtles! Yes, we have released the turtle! Which, in turn, will just hang around here for a bit. Yeah, the frame rate really tanks when I'm looking at the ocean. If we step on the turtle, we can get up top here and hit him and grab him. Easy enough, even though he's a blue pants monkey. A monkey! Even though he's a blue pants monkey, he's pretty easy to get. Since he's running around in a really, really tight area. So here, if we hit Dexter, which I always feel bad, because of the noise he makes, makes noise and so so sad. Always oh, too bad. We can get inside him. Now there is a monkey over here, which we can get, which will be, which we can get way later on when we get another. Oh god, this monkey! This monkey has a machine gun. And bombs. And rockets. This is probably the first monkey where you have you might have problems hitting. You can use these things to propel yourself and make it easier to hit him. And harder for him to hit you. But I just you can sneak up to him too if you want. But I just I go brute force on on his ass. Let's get down here and grab the Spectre coin. Another Spectre coin in our Grasp these things. I always just do what's you know the best way to defeat any enemy, which is just spin the stun baton around like a, a jackass. More often than not, that solves any of my problems. Let's get to the top here because there is another monkey we can get if I don't screw up the jump. Damn it. 
Okay, we got it. We got it this time. Now, if we're careful, we can grab him pretty easily. And that's... That's then. Let's hope I hit water. I did. Well, not really water. Shouldn't this be acidic? You know, when melting me? Melting my face? Since, it, you know, we're in the stomach and this is... You know, green usually means acid in video game world. I don't know. It might just be Mountain Dew. I might be swimming in Mountain Dew. Oh god. This guy's really... Again, best way to deal with them. Just pin up around the stumbaton and you, you're fine. That's how I deal with most of the smaller enemies in this game. Now here. You see this wall here? We can't do anything about it yet. But we will do something about it later. Oh god. Try to... Fall down there, couldn't. You see also that thing there. We'll get something later which helps us get this Spectre coin. And we don't have to hit any buttons, buttons or anything. We just have to be come here later. When, after we finish the game, kind of. You'll see. This enemy. Now, you can get close to him, wait for him to try to hit you, and this enemy is pretty reminiscent of Legend of Zelda in Lord Jabu Jabu's Valley, which this part specifically always reminded me of. He even dies the same way if you ever played Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You should remember something similar in Lord Jabu Jabu's Valley. Those tentacles that you have to fight, which serves kind of as the extra mini boss to the level. And here, we are getting just to the last few monkeys of. Let me. Let me go. The last few monkeys of the level. You see some monkeys there? If you hit them, there's actually a mailbox that will tell you that you can, you know, this place, there are certain slippery parts that, you know, you can slip if you're not careful. But, since I already know what to do, kind of wish you moved to the other side, but watch you move to the other side now. What a jackass. What a jackass. Stay there. There we go. If we hit him, he falls down just like the other one, and he's done. Those are the first, I think, yeah, uh, white shorts monkeys we've seen. Which, as I said before, they are very alert. So it's very hard to catch them off guard. And guys, I'll be leaving you guys off here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys then. Who's the flip side? Bye-bye.